Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I get to continue with my Let's Play of Hand of Fate 2. I'm excited, guys and gals. Really excited. I've been wanting to play this all week. Finally get my chance to play it again. Let's do it. Start. I have clawed my way back beyond the 13 gates to this mortal realm. Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Cool, looks like we get to play as, or not play as, but we get to play the magician. Rescue the missing Empire soldiers from a town plagued with corruption. Growing Scourge, prepare to fight corrupted. Lose gold for every Empire killed. And we get to bring the trickster along. Okay. Sure. Wait. All mages are my now children. He's, now he's joining this me. one. Sorry. However, I would rather disown. Okay. Okay, what are these? Encounters. Fill your deck with encounter cards. These are the places you visit on your journey. The maximum number of platinum cards. Okay, I don't think I have any of those. Tokens. Do we do we know anything about them? Inspect with I. Complete this encounter card to unlock new cards. Draw this encounter card during a challenge to discover its traits. It's the same thing? Yeah. Oops. Oh, so we have a- oh, we ha oh my goodness, we have so many! The old Maiden. It's like we know this one, Arm Wrestling, Deep Water, and Dam distressed damsel. So these are ones that we that we pulled. So we can add up to five encounters. All right. Uh, the old maiden. Sure, why not? Let's go with uh, all the new cards. See what they do. And equipment. Fill your deck with equipment cards. The Cardinal Blade. Soldier's sword, it's 15. A warrior's axe. A uh, bastion of purification or shield. All right. So what is this? We don't know. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna keep hitting the wrong buttons. You'll have to forgive me. Ah, uh, we can have up to five. Do we have to? These are the items you acquire on your journey. I mean, I guess we can put all of them in. I... We'll learn more as we go. Okay, let's let's begin. A casual call to heroism. How many adventures start thus? Probably many. The magician who stole my coin. One hundred years I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before then. I thought I knew everything about the game and what it could be. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Cool and weird. Your conversations with a fur trader is interrupted as a Mala... Mala eclipses... Uh, Malclips arrives in a flurry. The whispers speak of trouble at the edges of the Empire. The town of Westwind is suffering against the Blight. Find out more about it? Uh, what do you want to know? Ask about Empire protection. The small garrison is meant to be protecting the town, but apparently they are all either dead, missing, or drunk. Um, okay. What makes it special? I'm traveling far to escape the oppression of the Empire. Westwind gave me my freedom, and I intend to return the favor. Where is it? Westwind sits on the outer edge of the Empire, while the Emperor, the Emperor focuses on the capital, its nobles and merchants. Those at the fringes are neglected. Okay, that's enough. Let's head there. 
He returned to the markets and asked if any traders headed to Westwind might need an escort. There are three options. A stonemason, a food wagon, or a weaponsmith. Weaponsmith. He arranged an uncomfortable ride jammed in amongst the many tools of a weaponsmith headed far west. The food was probably the smarter like compass. It indicates the truth of all directions. So our neglected sword, and we get upgraded to... Would you like to equip the cardinal blade? Sure. Whispers from the west. You arrive at the town of Westwind. To defend the town, you'll need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. Okay. In my day, thieves kept their distance. None would pickpocket a mage for fear of failure, or worse, success. Oh, the Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the land call out to passers-by to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded streets, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic turning. You quickly discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. That's not good. Bad fortune, pain. Oh, we lost 10 gold. I don't think we had 10 gold, so I guess that's fine. You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse of the thief as of, as they weave through the cl the crowd, or the cloud. Now you wager for more than mere success and failure. Mm. You choose the very stakes themselves. Boo! The tangled maze of people proves too much for you, and the thief makes their escape. Well, kudos to you, thievey boy. Kudos to you. The empire reaches too far. The All right. North has gone from a loose collection of tribes to something to truly fear. You find some Imperial soldiers strung up by Northerners. Fight to free them, Lee, or pay to free them. We're gonna fight. You ready your weapon? Do I? And I only have the Cardinal Blade right now. Oh no, I have the. Oh, I can have the Villager's Axe too. Is that a two-handed weapon? I'll stick with that. I mean, to me, that's the like ideal situation. Do anything beyond the? Nope. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Let us see if the mage can help you here. This the trickster is joining me for this battle. The little dragon is eating its own tail. It's probably not great for him, but we'll probably manage it. It'll be okay. This is so cool looking. I'm sorry, guys. This game makes me smile. Look at him. There he is. He just did a flourishing bow. It's great. Oh, cool. Malaclips. A uh, magician, a jester, and a vagabond. When activated, Malaclips casts a protective spell on you that can block a single hit. Aura's companion, okay. If nothing else, I'll get a song out of this. That didn't feel good. Get him, my friend. I'm sorry, but I've actually forgotten how to fight effectively with this guy. Left shift. Well, that seemed like a waste. Do I, do I right click the block? Is that how this works? Well, that was very messy, and that might have some very, very, very big ramifications of what's to come. I did not do that well. I was like, ooh, I don't remember what like my special attack is and all the other stuff. I should have looked at the controls a bit more before I started that. I did gain a little bit of max HP, and I got some food out of the whole ordeal. Hopefully I can recover from this. That was a bit sloppy and I apologize. Commerce I thrives up in even the most unusual of locations. The shopkeeper nods to you as you enter. Adventurer, how how's the world out there? I I have nothing. Can we sell equipment? I'll sell the Cardinal Blade. Yeah. Um twenty remaining. Buy some equipment. A warrior's axe is just a bit too expensive. Buy some food. Can buy one food for four. 
buy three food. Yeah. Just in case. Alright, that's fine. We can buy healing as well. Oh, we don't have enough. Maybe I should have done that. I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's leave. Go here. You always treat those who feed you Hearts, with pies, and exotic lies. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. You chance upon a wooden cart overflowing with pears, pies, and many items otherwise, and a wonderful smell wafts from the cart. Malaclips uh, shakes his head. I call him Mal, Mala, Mally. Call him Clipes. Let's call him Mal. Uh, poor old Chester. This is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of women. Coins, women, coin slave. Okay. They'll break your heart and leave you selling your lemon tarts with little business sense. Okay. The old farmer hawks his wares to passers-by. Tarts, pies, and exotic lies. Chester nods glumly as you approach. What would you like to buy on this terribly dreary morning? I'd like to buy some exotic lies. She was so beautiful, he whispered as he passes you a bag of spiked purple fruits. Chester stares in a kind of wistful gloom at the exotic fruits for a while. Before he finally decides on a price. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't have the money. Chester seems strangely affronted by this. He takes the fruit from your hands and coldly asks you to leave. Well, that was strange. It's fine, probably. Here we begin to see one of the small ways I've changed the game. Each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives. Even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge, as you will see. Okay. The West Wind Tower Bell chimes feverishly. Okay. When the town crier bellows, there's corrupted there's corrupted inside the town. They broke through the sewers and into Laos Lane. Our brave soldiers have gone down there to sort it out. You arrive to find Westwind's few remaining soldiers huddled at the entrance to its poorest area, Laos Lane. We cannot let the corruption spread. For the good of the town, we must dispose of anyone who has been tainted, even a little. Join the soldiers. Keep exploring. Let's join them. I'm ready, probably. You join the fight against the corrupted. Alright, my trickster friend. I'm going to see if I can't find the controls before we get murdered. Because I know, I think F did something and left shift did something. But I don't know what specifically. So hopefully it shows the controls before the battle starts. Inflicted. The first touches of corruption bringing forth the dark, darkest elements of their victims. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. Use a finisher before they recover. Alright, F is finisher, R is our companion, weapon ability, block break, and what is right click? Defend. Okay. Eh. Got him. What's left? He did. Nailed it. Like a boss. Boom. All right. So I need to dodge more since I'm not using a shield. I imagine I can still block some damage with the axe, but I got to make sure I dodge more. All right. With the corrupted threat removed, you've ensured that these soldiers survive to aid the town's defense. Hey, I gained three recruits. The soldiers help you scavenge what you can from the remains of the poor souls taken by the corruption. Yeah, equipment gain. Oh, the bastion. Shield in more ways than one. Good fortune. Sweet. Here we are at the next place. Age turns us all. She has maiden. done rather better than I in the time that has passed. 
Okay, well, walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries, I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with your journey? Ask for gold? No amount of gold will satisfy a mortal, but if that is what you wish, her ancient voice falters on her words, as if long unused. Oh, I bet I should ask for a longer life or whatever it was. That probably would have increased my max health. I'll take the little bit of gold gain here. In your life, you will have wandered endless intersections. Yet this one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? Okay, fork in the road. So it looks like I can go there and then probably go back this way. You arrive at a signpost detailing the possible path north and south. Mal sniffs the air. My magical senses are pulling me toward the north. It smells like someone is baking a cinnamon pie somewhere up. Oh, that sounds great. What is a cinnamon pie? I want that now. Give it to me. Put it in my face. Alright, let's see. General store. I can buy equipment now. I think we are going to. I want my warrior's axe. Thank you very much. Bye. And yes, I would like to equip it. Thank you. Well, that may help you on the road ahead. Can I sell? Oh, I can sell equipment too. I'm gonna sell the bastion. So I don't plan to use a shield for much. Okay, I can buy healing. I don't think I need to at this point. And we are low on food, so I should buy some food. I'm gonna have to backtrack around. Alright, let's leave. Oh, good, it doesn't actually waste our food. Nice. I thought they it would. Themselves into this mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Oh, I do. One handed weapons are recommended against northerners. You can change equipment. Nah, we're, we're just gonna man up and do it. We are two handed weapon fighters. We do not diversify, we slaughterify. Because that's clearly a word, and it's awesome, and I love it. Ooh, it's gonna be fun! We're gonna kill us some northerners, and hopefully I don't get wrecked as badly this time as I did last time. They seem very, very angry. Raiders! From the frozen darkness of the far north they come, northerners can perform a combo attacks. A combo attacks. Sure. Use repost with single handed weapons to deal extra damage immediately after you defend. I could do that, or I could not do, or I could not do that. You want to play with me? Nope. Hey. Get him. Get him. Well, a little messy, but a little bit better than I had been doing. I like the addition to the companion. It seems cool. He, he done did get an extra hit there. That was pretty nice. I don't think he's died yet. We've saved the captured soldiers. And we got ourselves the Cardinal Blade again. A remnant of the Templars and their religious righteousness. We just got a whole bunch of food. Alright, we gained two. More recruits. Gonna hop on up they here. place themselves in these dire positions, and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. I know, right? What's that about? While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear the clash of steel and an unmistakable groan of corrupted. Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods! I was heading to tea with Duke Gilbert when we were ambushed! My footman left me here to fight them off, but the brawl is now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fearfully at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. I'm gonna go out to the soldiers. Yeah, you rush into the forest and quickly encounter a squad of Empire soldiers battling the corrupted. Do we have what it takes to be victorious? Only time. And just a little bit of time will tell. Okay, so it looks like we have friends this time. Where's my boy? Give me your love, friend. Eh. 
Day Ed. I do like the fact that we just like absolutely interrupt them. He did. And I think that's it. We're gonna say good day, sir, right here. No? Yes? No? Where did the soldiers look at him when he tried to touch me? Oh, he did. Oh, I'm sad. That was funny. He's just like, eh, eh, eh. He's just reaching for me and I'm just like, nope, nope. Get that stinky hand away from me. I hope the soldiers didn't die. I feel like they did, though. Ooh, plus 10 to max health. And I gained 25 HP. Although the corrupted have been vanquished, no Empire soldiers remain. Ah, uh, you return to the road and will find only the wreckage of the noble's carriage. Ah. Oh. I guess I didn't do a good job of keeping them alive. I was too worried about keeping myself alive and having fun with those Your dudes. companion has his own story to tell. No. We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. You arrive at the city markets to meet up with Mal's associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animal pile of greasy... Or sorry, an, anim an animate pile of greasy rags. A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with rope are flopped around on the ground around him. Merc! Mal calls out to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin man... Raises a hand to stop the bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. He looks at you, ah, I don't have enough gold. The goblin man looks affronted, and Mal places a consoling hand on him. Don't be mad, he doesn't know how our kind work. Merc crosses his arm and turns back to you. Mal makes soothing noises. Look here, Merc. We'll be back before you know it with the gold, okay? Well, I guess we're not going to be doing that one. Well, let's finish this up. The last now stand. Your chance presents itself. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. What noble traits you display already. Thank you. Atop Westwind's town hall is a large bell tower. It used, it used to signal the day's end for the workers in the mines and surrounding fields. But now it will summon Westwind's defenders. Do you wish to summon the soldiers you have recruited? As night cloaks Westwind, you can sense the corruption rising from the shadows all around you. Survey any soldiers you have managed to recruit. You have gathered a large group of soldiers to defend the town. Here's hoping you won't need any more. Cool. Give a rousing speech. You must survive till morning when Imperial Force and reinforcements will arrive. Inspired failure, failure. Oh my gosh, I have so little chance of success. The soldiers appear unmoved by your words and remain tense and fearful. Couldn't I had our trickster do it? I feel like Mal could have done this much easier. Alright, I'm sad. I'm almost over. This episode's almost done and this quest looks like it's coming to an end. And I'm gonna have to wait to play again. Sad Bumpy is sad. Terror of... Ooh, that thing's horrifying. Terror of Westwind. As the final vestiges of humanity are erased, the terror wakes. Use the bash to break the terror's corrupted armor and defeat it with a finisher before it regenerates. With all these soldiers, you don't think you could have done it. Ah. Do things that end with people dying. Stop killing the, the soldiers! Wait, what just happened? Oh. Did my, did my guy die? That didn't feel good. Get him, get him, what are you doing? Yes. Oh, he's regenerating. I did it! I'm a hero! 
That was interesting. There was a little bit of a dynamic there. That wasn't in the uh, previous fights and such. That's, that's nice. I like that. A mighty creature of chaos felled by your power. Boom. Does it satisfy you? I'm sad. I have a failure here. bloodshed. Knowing those you destroy were once simple peasants going about their day. Hey, hey, stop raining on my parade, man. Shut your face. All right. Once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee, their spirits broken. The soldiers erupt in cheers, praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet your reinforcements with a town already saved. The Magician! The Magician returns to the deck. But now we only begin our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I am satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. We're saving the town of Westwind. No! Oh, do I get to... Oh, I get all of these. Ruby Ring, a Valiant, Aegis, and a Winter's Bane. None of these seem all that amazing, if you ask me, but okay. Lost Boy, Gnomish Exchange, Man-Eating Tree, the Popper Plague, and uh, the Westwind Tavern. Cool. Alright. And it looks as though we have successfully completed the as you magician. Play, you will find more options open to you. Should Ooh. you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. Okay, it looks like up next we'll have up to three choices for us. We can go to the High Priestess, the Empress, or the Emperor as our next option. Well, that's pretty cool, ladies and gentlemen, and it's the perfect amount of time for me to have in an episode. So there you go. Perfect, uh, perfect. I like that. Everything about that was fun. I enjoy this game a lot. I really enjoy playing it. I will definitely be back, hopefully, a little sooner than this time. But it was about a week, and I want to do about one a week, maybe maybe two a week if I can. It's a really fun game. I enjoy playing it, and I, well, I'm looking forward to it. Until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so very much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>